Hi guys! Okay, I have some really fun, exciting news to share with you all. Um, and, and still, at the time that I'm filming this video, I really have not told anyone what is going on or what I'm doing yet, but we are getting closer and closer for me to be able to share just about um, more publicly this process, this journey that I have been going through, uh, really for a lot of this year, since April when this whole thought and idea of surrogacy even began. Super excited, you know, I had a doctor's appointment earlier this week and um, if this is the first video you're watching, I have a little bit of a, uh, in my surrogacy process, I had a little bit of a obstacle or a hurdle to get through in the sense that I have a medical diagnosis, which really does not affect my day-to-day -day life at all. I have very low platelets. It's called ITP. Where that can become an issue is in childbirth. And so they knew that I have it, but they needed some clearance from my primary care doctor. And my primary care doctor would not give clearance without having the clearance from a hematologist. And so I waited and waited and waited. I had to like fill out all this. It had been so long since I've seen my hematologist. I had to fill out new paperwork. I was essentially a new patient. I had to wait weeks to get, it was probably a month, almost a month I had to wait for my appointment to see the doctor. And so I went to the hematologist earlier this week. I had shared with a friend that it felt like it was either the beginning or the end of this journey. Either he wasn't gonna clear me for surrogacy and my journey would be over, or he would clear me and it would be the beginning of this really incredible process and, and journey that I just am so grateful to be on. He um, was very happy at the fact that I was able to have Iris without any complications with ITP. I did not have ITP. I was not diagnosed with it and did not have it when Stella and Amelia were born. However, with my third, I did have it and was diagnosed before that with ITP. However, I was able to have an epidural. I did not have to have any transfusions afterwards or anything. And so he was really happy with that. I'm really happy with the fact that, you know, I don't have any other like complications or any other way that ITP shows up in my everyday life. And so he ordered more blood work. Uh, it's actually just hilarious because he ordered blood work. They couldn't do it in their office because of my insurance. So I had to go to um, Quest Diagnostics, who by the way, has like the worst system ever. Going and getting the blood work was fabulous. I would go there every single time. It was so seamless, so fast, so easy, except their patient portal. And I got locked out of the patient portal for 72 hours. <laughs> to get these results and so um and they wouldn't let me in and so i think it still has not even been 72 the full 72 hours so i called my doctor my hematologist they had received the results and they were going to write the letter of clearance i had no idea what my platelets were but i've been doing everything that i can personally to stimulate platelet growth through food and diet as well as you know taking some some vitamins and things like some supplements and stuff and so i saw the blood work today and i was so excited because the normal range is there's a normal range and then i i would say when my blood work came i wasn't like crazy low but they definitely wanted it to be higher. And so the second time, just a few days ago when my platelets were tested, I had 20,000 more. Thank you, Jesus. I was very happy about that. So I got to see the blood work today. I got the letter from my hematologist that goes on to my primary care physician. So he has cleared me on, on his end. And now um, I have an appointment with my primary care physician uh, in just a few weeks and then she will write the official official letter clearing me for surrogacy and um, once she does that which she will she will because 
she just wanted the hematologist to sign off on it. So, you know, she had said, we'll meet and have an appointment. But, you know, if your hematologist signs off on it, then, you know, he's the expert in the area of platelets. So we should be good to go. So uh, then she'll sign off on it. And then I move on to the finally the next step. I've been stuck in this um, medical clearance since... Well, I mean, you, you go on to like medical clearance right after you've been matched. And so I was matched in August. Uh, and so we've been working towards this medical clearance and you know, you gotta wait for your cycle and there's lots of steps and reasons, but it's been like August and today is November 4th. So on November 4th, I got the letter from my hematologist saying that I was medically cleared from his perspective to move forward. So the next step will be once I get the letter from my primary care doctor, then the next step will be um, contracts. And so then we'll sign the legal contracts, which takes about two weeks. And then after that, once the contracts are sent to the IVF clinic, then I will receive my cycle calendar and that is the calendar that has the medication and, and things that I'll be doing as we lead up to the transfer, the embryo. And so um, it takes about two more weeks to get the cycle calendar. And so we're still a good, I would say, we're still a couple months away from the transfer um, because as we get closer to the holidays, they will, the IVF clinic will close for a few weeks. We have some things that are some uncontrollables for sure, but this was the biggest piece. This was the piece that could really determine if we could move forward or not. So super excited to share that. Thank you guys for watching. If you have questions about the process, um, if you're watching this video, it means that I've loaded a whole bunch of other videos walking you through each step of the journey along the way. If you have questions, comments, anything you want to know, other videos you want me to make, just leave it in the comments and I will uh, do my best. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video.